says it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Why is your hand over there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It should be hovering they all can't. the time. <laughs> so AJ just locks himself in a room and doesn't even yeah. tell the girl. And, you. <laughs> and then he releases a song. And they find okay, out that. that. guys, welcome to another episode of It's Complicated where we go through your questions regarding relationships and love and all that all mushy that stuff. stuff. <laughs> One topic that seemed to come up a lot in the comments and on our messages was a topic of long distance relationships. I wonder why. Are you guys like not meeting boys and girls in your own proximity? You guys are just meeting online and finding out that you're like hundreds of miles away or something. Anyways. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that today because there's a lot to uh, say about long distance relationships. Yes, and here to join us today are our good friends AJ Raphael and Wendy from Wendy's Lookbook. Woo! Yay! Dude, this is a very <laughs> special episode. It is. It we is. Very excited. So the fact that you guys are guests on this episode right, right. must imply that you have had experience in long distance relationships. It, yes. it would imply that. Yeah. <laughs> it would imply that, yes. Okay, so long distance relationships. How does that even come about? I mean, do you go out of town a lot and then you meet somebody from out of town? Yeah. Or, or somebody? Or, you, know, it's like, you can meet them yeah, anywhere. Actually, right? just, and they're just it's from. by chance. What's that it's first by feeling? What's that it's first feeling when you find out that someone that you are like vibing with and then they're like, oh, I'm actually like not going around. Right, right. I mean, I think usually you would kind of go into it, no, like say you go to a place that's not in your city and you okay. meet them there, mm -hmm. and that's different, right? Yeah. Than like meeting somebody online, mm -hmm. which has also happened to me, but. <laughs> really? I mean, How many that times? They, um, like last man. Week. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, I mean like, this is when I was younger though. Yeah. I'm talking about like when I was like 14, like 15, right? <laughs> you needed better parental control about your computer. For real, I was like the only one in middle school with like a, digital camera and stuff. I had a website, so I was on Find a Pics, and then I met this girl, her name was Polly, she's from San Diego, mm -hmm. so I knew she was like two hours away, but we would ask our friends to drive us, me and Arby, dude. That's We'd cute. drive down. So to for see you, it was like no problem. It was like, you know, we're gonna make this work. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm sure they meet way more people yeah. online than we do nowadays. So that actually leads to like one of the first uh, discussion topics yeah. is, so you, let's say you meet someone, whether you're out of town, online, or just someone's cousin visiting, yeah. and you realize, you know what, we want to do this because it's important. Yeah. How do you mentally prepare yourself for a long distance relationship? God, I think it's so, I think it's just so, it's complicated, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's hard, I think it's, but you know, sometimes not seeing each other that much gives you the ability to have a very special moment when you do see each other. Okay. So like on the yeah. weekends when you see each other, yeah. you can go out and usually that's when you try different things. Like you go different activities or you push beyond your comfort zone. Yeah. So in that sense, it's kind of a, more of a benefit, okay. you know? That's true. I mean, I think it's always going to be tough. I mean, even in just like a friendship, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Yes, keeping in yeah. touch and all that stuff but um obviously with like social media it helps a lot i mean but even just the phone and yeah. that's and now there's know. skype you can skype and on skype yeah. yeah that's cool but i don't think there's a way you can really mentally super like prepare yeah. for it i think it's really scary when you have this long distance which for like five years right and then you have this like kind of weekend kind of relationship yeah. and also when you move in together yeah. and then when you learn like kind of the nitty gritty things that that's they do i think that's say, a scary yeah. like you said it's good that you like the times that you see each other are really like fun and right. exciting but then also gives you like a skewed view of what your relationship actually that's true. is. That's quite true. Right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So how do you maintain that trust when you're in that long distance relationship? That's the, I think that's the biggest challenge. Yeah. Oh, it totally oh, is. Yeah. It's not about like, oh, oh we yeah. don't see each other enough or whatever. Yeah, like... and I think the lack of communication can over-exaggerate like a situation. You yeah. know, like you can be going out with your friends, but it looks like you're having too much fun. Yeah. And, and you're thinking what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, that's like, oh, totally. You know I mean? And social media makes that exactly. worse. Exactly. Yeah. Like you see pictures and stuff. Exactly. Like, Who are these people? Why is your hand over there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. They should be hovering they all the time. <laughs> They're not there to physically see it, so they just start assuming or exactly. I mean, it, oh, man. it, it that can is go anywhere. Such it. a tough thing to do that. Then let's say in your guys' experience, so mm -hmm. Wendy, 
in your long distance relationship, yeah, was yeah. trust an issue? And if it was, how did you guys navigate that? But just talking the phone a lot. And I think just having the ability to communicate. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the biggest thing, just the talking thing. a yeah. lot. Yeah. So did, did trust, was it ever something that you guys thought about? Or like, was it actually like you got, you was, it was all right? No, no. I think <gasps> your mind was just yeah, so busy with exactly. something already. Yeah. You don't have time to go out. Right. And, and to, Still. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So it didn't give you a reason to look elsewhere. Right. Yeah. What about you? That's AJ? true. I, I feel like you don't have that. <laughs> no, no. I actually do. So I like, trust was always a problem. <laughs> no, honestly, and I guess the long distance things that I had, um, they didn't really last very long. So mm. I think it was like the first three, four, or five months of just being like all about each other. Yeah. You know, there was no time to be like, oh yeah, I'm hanging out. So you didn't get to that next level. We didn't get to the next level in. Um, in strangers again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess it comes down to you, know, you have to give the other person a reason to trust you or to not trust you. That's right? totally right. Yeah. And it's also it's a two-way street. Yeah. So I think it is. Okay, this is from Gary, and he says, "My girlfriend broke up with me, but she had a good reason for it: school, going to university, and she didn't want me to feel neglected. So I understood why she broke up with me." Nothing wrong with the relationship, and we both know that there is still a chance of being together mm -hmm. after she's finished with school. So what he doesn't know is if he should wait or move on. Oh. I honestly feel that if you're meant to be together, you'll come back. Yeah. So n n not maybe, not wait, but just grow. Yeah. Like you take oh, your totally. own path, totally. grow, you know what I mean? Take the hobbies that you want, pursue your dreams, and then when that happens and you guys cross paths again, there's more to talk about. Yeah. Versus yeah. just like high school or whatever you guys were more. Or even really when you guys path, can you know? grow, be stable enough to like fly out there yeah. or whatever, you know what yeah, I mean? Or exactly. even eventually move, you know, yeah. if you love that person that much. Right. But you guys, what Gary's going to discover in these next couple of years is one person is going to want it more than the other. That's very true. And it, might, it actually might be himself. Right, right, he's right. like, oh, actually, I'm cool. I, or I met someone else here. Right. Well, even so with tough. that, just say if you move on to another relationship and you know, and years have passed, those relationships can be actually good learning lessons yeah. for you to come back to your right. original I mean, love. I mean, don't think of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can imagine him saying, well, why don't we go through this together? You know, like, if we really love mm -hmm. each other. Why don't we make this work? And, mm -hmm. So he's being very understanding. I think. He is, though. Mm -hmm. He's being very understanding. I think what Wendy says is right. Whatever the reasons, it's happened. You guys are yeah, split up. Yeah, exactly. Just take your time and see yeah, and see where it takes yeah, place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This next one's pretty sad from Anonymous. Um, I can feel that our long distance relationship is on the way out. How do I end a long distance relationship? Tears. That's tough. Tears. That's I just yeah. write songs about it. <laughs> that's like, that's how. I think that's amazing. Turning yeah. your darkest time. <laughs> No, 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 Adele. It's so hard. Love, yeah, yeah like oh, the, for the sure. pain comes out. best selling out. album. Exactly. So AJ just locks himself in a room and doesn't even tell the girl. And, you, <laughs> and then he releases a song and they find and out that, 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 that way. These two yeah. people, they're not together normally, anyways. They can't so you just can't talk. see them in person. Yeah. You can't mm. be like, I'm going to see you in person to break up with you. I would take the effort to go see them. You would? I, I, I would. Yeah. Yeah. So you do a one last hurrah. That's like the one. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, like at least show them. You're saying at least show them one last gesture. Yeah. That's the exactly. best That's true. you can do if you're going to break up with somebody. Okay, but what if you but, can't? But so, so what do, if would you, you tell cannot? them if, like, 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 oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Or do, do, do you just assume them? that you're coming to yeah. see them? Like, oh, you're yeah, coming yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Assuming the other party has no idea that the relationship Oh, you can't go into that. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't go in and... It has to be... No, it has to be, like, preconceived. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, I think you would know. Like, yeah. if you guys are talking every day and you're distancing yourself, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? And not you're not really doing it on purpose. You're yeah. doing it because you're, like, you, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. She's going to know something's wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, can we talk? Yeah. Oh, Whoa, there you go. those three words. Those three oh. words are painful. Can we talk? Uh. Can we talk? Long distance relationships are tough, man. Yeah. I'd advise not to go through one. I advise you not to go through one. No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. No. If it's love, it's love. It's, it's gonna, you can't control how you feel sometimes. Yeah, you can't. All right, so wrapping up this episode and this topic, just general thoughts. Honestly, I think it's very difficult and it requires too mature yes. person to make it work. If you walk into it knowing that it's a long distance relationship, I think you can definitely make it work. But if it becomes a long distance relationship oh. after a close, that's so difficult. But I, I think with, with anything, when you have a strong chemistry and when you have that love, it, it oh, power, you can power it through. It's just finding the right time and personality to really make that work. But I think it, it's finding 
um, I don't know, you're just gonna have to realize that one person, one of you guys is gonna have to make the sacrifice to be to with move, the other, you yeah, know what I mean? And, yeah. and that's a tough thing if you guys are both living your lives and stuff, yeah. you know? Maybe you guys will eventually end up in the same place, you know? Mm -hmm. The long distance stuff for me is kind of like traumatizing me a little yeah. bit. Like, I, I really do end up just kind of thinking about different things and like how things should have ended oh, and stuff yeah. or like if I saw this person a lot, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So yeah, I would say not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs down. Oh, you can. Yeah, it's worth trying. I mean, I have tried it and it it's difficult and unfortunately it didn't work out, but I mean, I don't discourage it from happening. Like if you guys think it'll work out, if you think you both are you know, ready for that commitment, yeah. then go for That's it. That's like a different level. Yeah. 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 You have to be on another level. I think exactly. I think um at the end of the day, like with the long distance, it's not even about the two people, it's more about like the timing of you guys. Like if oh, you yeah. guys are in the right place to handle that very That's incredible true. challenge. Picking back on what you're saying, yeah. I took a psychology course uh, back in college, and yeah, yeah, let me give it to you now. You um, but they said that the element of love, one of them is proximity. Yeah. So the hot, the closer you are, that element actually blooms stronger People than if you're further. Needs, right? Exactly, it's, like, it's, 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 it's the it's the personal contact. Right, right, right. The human contact is very important. I think if both of you guys know that you guys are building towards that proximity, then yeah, that, there that you helps go. too. Yeah. So I think that's a good general way to look at it. It's like if you guys are on the same page of where you guys yeah. want to end up, you guys are, have a good chance. If you guys are at different places in your lives where you guys are just apart and it doesn't know, chances mm -hmm. are chances are slim, slim to none. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad AJ's here to just give it to us, well, give it to us real. Straight up. <laughs> Slim to none. <laughs> but better to have loved and lost than to have never have loved, loved at, at all. all. There you go. <laughs> and there we have it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another episode of It's Complicated. Be sure to submit your own questions. Click on the link below and questions and maybe we'll answer it next time. Yeah, and we wanted to thank uh, AJ and Wendy again. Yes, thank you. You guys are yeah. really thank you. great guests. Thanks you guys for having are us. Really very Thanks wise. Wendy. Point for you. She's very wise. <laughs> yeah, she's very wise. So wise. You guys are so wise. <laughs> Find their links below. Subscribe to them. They're doing awesome things. You guys already know. We don't need to tell you. Much love. Much thank love. you guys for being on the show. Hope you guys yeah. have fun. Thank you Thank guys. you for no, having us. Awesome. You guys helped Amazing. a lot of young people out there. And we hope so. Yeah. We hope so. You also might have broken some people out. <laughs> Keep it He real. says it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's over. Oh, no. We're doing this are we, are we going to the same goal? Huh? Are we, are we <laughs> heading to the same goal? Are we headed to the same place? Why are we on Skype right now? Oh. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Are you guys going to roll? We said talking stuff. You skipped me off, but I'm worried about it. Can you tell you my chance of rhythm? I've been told.